Welcome to Baritone Cult. On today's episode, we have something really cool for you guys. We're going to do a studio tour. Try to make this one different than the other ones that I've seen and maybe you've seen is we're going to get into a little bit of like maybe some prices on some things. I'm not going to get into all the prices, stuff where maybe it's going to be helpful to you guys. I'm going to get into like the used aspect of it. And so we'll touch on that. I hope you guys enjoy it. In this area, this is where I sit all the time. We'll start with the computer. So this is a 2015 iMac, and I I'm gonna talk about price on this, so, cause this can be helpful to you guys. I bought this used, loaded up with all kinds of software, um, just loaded up, and, and got it in the box, just like mint condition on Craigslist. Thousand, thousand bucks for it. And so that might be helpful to you guys. And so then inside there we have uh, Studio One is our DAW and a bunch of stuff from Tune Tracks and that sort of thing. Um, below, I just got this thing uh, a while ago, uh, Zaor, Z A O R. And, you know, this just, you got your firm in here where we can run all our power into that. That really was helpful getting that. And then we've got our, um, our headphone amp for when we're recording. We have two sets of headphones, and um, so that's been good. Uh, the speaker stands are also Zaor, and I got these used also on eBay for like 150 bucks. So they're like 250 new. That might be helpful to you guys, but what's helpful, I think. They sound so much better on hard stands. So if you guys have the little foam things, uh, I have the nice ones. They sound your whole mix, everything, your music, everything sounds better, I think, with the speakers being on a hard stand. So um, eBay is another place. Craigslist for the computer, eBay. I got my two little headphone holders here, these little skulls. And right over here, we've got our Apollo twin MK2. I had, I ended up buying that, buying that guy brand new. The desk is super high quality steel case desk. I got this for super, super cheap. I didn't get this on Craigslist, but they're gonna have awesome desks. I don't know. You know, you can get a studio desk for a couple grand. I can promise you the quality is nothing like a good old desk. So that's something that can be uh, helpful to you guys too. You don't have to get a studio desk. Um, you can get like the side racks to hold your equipment in. And we're gonna be getting one of those soon, like a 12 or 16 unit. Below the desk is a Yamaha subwoofer. And that is on an RLX, I think, subwoofer pad. And then we have the Yamaha HS8 speakers. And behind, we have um, your sound panels. And I'm going to pull one out real quick. Because I made these. I made a bunch of them. There's so many of them down in this basement. There's a little bit of dust there. But... So I just went on YouTube, you know, and looked at a few different videos. And one of the things they were cutting the fabric and all that, you don't need to do that. So you can fold this fabric right in the corner um, and, and make it really easy. But an air staple gun is definitely the way to go. And inside it is the soundproof insulation and these are a game changer i don't care if you don't have a computer or if you're just playing in a bedroom with a guitar you should really make your own sound panels i would say that's in the top three um 
things that were like super helpful. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of those in here, and maybe four of them, four footers. I've got a couple six or seven, eight footers in here that I made for our new room. And let's see. Oh, okay, we've got a little metronome here. Definitely want to be doing your metronome stuff. Um, this is a Korg. I really like this one. It's really simple. It's pretty loud. And what else in this area? Okay, so let me bring out some guitars here. And I'm gonna bring them right over to this area. So this is a great guitar because it just rocks. It's awesome, it's super affordable. This is the Ibanez RGB IB6. And this isn't the brand new model, um, but it's a 28 scale. And we've got some Seymour Duncan pickups in here and I'm gonna be doing something different with these here soon. We've got a little hip shot knob that are like five bucks. We've got Stefan Carpenter uh, strap, which I bought from Techno something, this place on Reverb that sells all stuff for the famous people or whatever you want to call it. And on the back, I've got my hip shot locking tuners, which you guys have heard me say about that. So this guitar is no longer an active guitar, but is a passive guitar. Now, the cool thing about that I got that delivered to my front door for $495 brand new from Guitar Factory. You just gotta be on the hunt for the bargains. And this is a Mike Mashock 27.7 scale. That This is a guitar we're actually gonna be giving away. It's all set up, it's intonated, um, it plays great. Uh, it's got a great clean tone. With the amount of awesome pickups out there, we're gonna let the winner of this, um, they can do their own thing with it. So we won't be putting any um, fancy pickups in it, but I would suggest putting some in there. And we've got a mono strap on there, and we've got hip shot locking tuners on there, which, you know, you wanna change your strings a lot, playing baritone. Um, you wanna keep them good. And, I'm pulling these guitars out of a Hercules rack. And this rack, this rack will uh, hold six of them. And I think this, they're like a hundred bucks. That was awesome. I opened the box, boom, folded it open, good to go. It's nice not having to put stuff together. I had to put a few things on there, but basically it was easy. So, and this right here is Mayana's bass, which is 34 to 37 scale uh, with a 176 on here for the G and a 124 gauge for D. And I think this is a 100 gauge, which would be A and so forth. But I ordered this last year and got this during this fun time we've been going in and I bought it strictly to record and needed a 37 scale so we could be in G and it has the Aguilar pickups in it and you can run this active or passive and it has a dark glass preamp in it. This bass sounds so good I don't even use the uh, dark glass um, preamp in here because I'm running it out of a tube, you know, bass head and all that. We're not messing around. Yeah, there's just a little view of the back. That's just one of these things about these Mayanas necks that are just awesome. So, yep, custom ordered this baby. And when you do it, you basically put your order in and you don't really hear much until it's done. So, um, I did order this with uh, supposed to be in my tuning and my strings and it didn't arrive that way so it took me three weeks to get a hold of the correct strings and thank you to Calium um, 
those guys were just great. And, you know, so then we had to adjust the nut and adjust the tuners and all that stuff. So, and now it's good. So if you're ordering, I, I, I don't know. I expected it was gonna come the way I ordered it, but that wasn't the case. So I'm not sure. Well, we got it, we got it where we needed to be. So that's, that's the most important point. And let's see here. And in the back, We've got this PRS here, and this isn't a baritone, but I've got a video with some information on this guy right here. Really cool story, and yeah. This cost me uh, 95 bucks, and maybe 20 years ago, at a pawn shop, and this was probably 2,800 bucks back then. It's just been a great guitar. Huge PRS fan. We've got this latest edition that we also ordered with the base. And this is a Regis Core 28 scale. And I like it. Uh, it's got bare knuckle pickups in it. The Schaller Hands Bridge, I love these. Uh, you can see a little bit of the two-tone almost in this thing, if you can. So, these are just outrageous how much they cost. So in order to get, this is a class three top or whatever it's called, a 3A. So if you wanna go up so it looks fancier, it's another $900. And I'm like, I just care how it plays and sounds. And um, so I really like this. Not as much as a Duvel but they don't make Duvels in 28 scale. They only make them in 27. So anyways, we'll get out of there real quick. And this is the guitar that I've just spent tons of time on. Uh, this is the Duvel Elite 27 scale. Uh, this is one of John Brown's, just awesome. Love how it sounds. It has the tonally enhanced wood, I think, which means they dry it out a little bit longer. You know, bare knuckle pickups. I'll turn it around here. And of course the neck's all shined out from playing the crap out of it. But I if they if they made these in a 28 scale, I would already had one ordered in here. I don't know why they don't. Man. Um but 27 scale are awesome. I would definitely recommend if you like playing 27 scale, I like 28. But I'll take what I can take and this is this is that so and before we move on to another area I've got rid of a bunch of guitars recently um, I had the green one of that Mayanez 27 scale I had a Mayanez multi fret from the 19 NAM show which was just awesome except it had Fishman pickups in it I just didn't really vibe with how that sounded, um, but you don't even see those. Those are so rare. I gave a guy in California a killer deal on that. And then I had a Regis 25.5 scale seven string, which was gorgeous. And that had a four A or five A top on it. And I sold a PRS, uh, Wood Library was probably one of the most beautiful guitars I have ever had, um, but I just never played it. And I miss it now, but I never played it. It, was, it wasn't it was a baritone, and I got a hold of the original owner who I bought it from, and he bought it back from me, and then immediately put it on reverb for another 1500 and sold it or something like that. So, um, we also got rid of a Martin 00042, um, but I got a smoking deal on that brand new. So, um, for the base setup, this is a Mesa Boogie 410 cabinet. And I bought this used and I, I got a smoking deal on this. Um, 
It got a little banged up because the guy didn't really package it that good, but whatever, I ordered some new parts that got jacked up. And on top, I usually have my Mesa Boogie Prodigy um, 488 head, which has four KT 88 tubes in it. It's 250 watts. Um, and I bought that on eBay. Got a really good deal on that. It's the new old stock. It's getting some tube stuff and some other stuff done to it right now because it's just a powerful amp. So I can't show you that. And then when you buy those, they don't come with a foot switch. So then you got to pony up another 150 bucks to get a foot switch. Um, so behind this, we I use this as a door stop, um, but it's for like a rifle. But what I... I use it for when I'm like working on my guitars is you just lay the neck right in it and it holds it and it's real heavy. So that's why that's there. And then behind this, we have uh, some graffiti art that a buddy of mine did years ago and with spray paint. I just, I'm into that stuff. I love art. I love cool tattoos. Um, Especially the tattoos these days. Man, these artists out there are so talented. Still with me? All right, perfect. So right here, you're going to see a huge sound panel. And these were done recently for our new room. And this is a six-footer. And inside of it, I have three and a half inch uh, soundproofing Owens Corn over there. So I just put it right over the door right now. Uh, moving on right over here, I have my cabinets where I put my stuff. There's some boxes and stuff up there, and I'll have like a bunch of picks and um, little camera stands, some tubes, some rectifier tubes, um, some preamp tubes back here, a little tripod, uh, odds and ends, um, this Big Ben's nut sauce. You guys that are playing baritone, put this on your nut when you're changing your strings. Right here, little little dot, um, little little toolbox here. You know where I've got a little screwdriver set, stuff like that. In the back is a lawn business of entertainment industries, and that's my wife's. She is uh, she is an attorney, and. What's nice about that, well, you probably could shoot me a legal question and we might be able to answer it for you. Um, one of my employees a couple years back got a record deal and, you know, he's a young guy, just just a, just a great person. And I said, <laughs> let us uh, look that over for you. And it was a bad deal. And so he never went through with it. But um, that's uh, one of the benefits of being married to an attorney. Moving on. In the back, I have just some boxes of tubes. These just came in, and I, I ordered these from Tonal Tubes on eBay. And they go in and test them and um, get the current and all that stuff on there. And why did I have them? They're selling out like crazy right now. So I wanted to have some in case I had an issue with one of my heads and so forth. And up in here, you'll see boxes for like pedals and stuff. I, if you buy something from me, you'll get it clean. You'll get it with a box. I don't mess around. Um, you know, I can't stand buying gear that's dirty or jet. I won't even buy it. You know, if you're looking at someone's gear on reverb, look at the room. If the carpet's nasty and everything's jacked up, you're going to buy gear that's going to be jacked up. You know what I mean? And then we've got a little cool piece of art right there. Um, right here, I've had this Marshall JCM 900 cabinet. That's some art that I did on there. And um, you know, this can be split into a stereo. And this is a cabinet that you see a lot on Craigslist. 
If I were to recommend a cabinet to you guys, I would get a Marshall JCM cabinet. It's got the uh, G1275 Celestion speakers in it. It sounds awesome. Um, right now I've got a couple Eminence speakers in there, um, a Swamp Thing, and uh, I forget the name of the other one. I got boxes of them in the other room, but anyways, we're just trying to experiment with some sounds. If you have one head, you're fine. You got a cabinet, you're even better because you can always switch out speakers and get different sounds and get a couple speakers. They're, you know, it's not as much as getting a new head. And let's see here. I have these stands, the Hercules. I've got a few of these around here. These are awesome. I love these. And there, you can set the height on them. So this is where I rack my amps. And let's start with the shelf. Um, 40 bucks on eBay, delivered. And there's a bunch of them on there. These are really cool. You could put carpet on there. They've got the, you know, wire racks. So this is great to set pedals up on or your heads. And so yeah, eBay, 40 bucks. And we'll start with the bottom. You can see that green Tolex on there. And this is an old Mesa Boogie F100 head. And it's 100 watts, 60 or 60 or 100 switchable, 6L6 tubes in it. I played this thing for years. Uh, I just had it retolex by our amp guy in, in Forest Green because I thought, oh, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and I bought that years ago new. One cool thing about this like I said about getting an old Marshall cabinet, is you can get one of these. If you guys see these used, these are great heads. Five, six hundred bucks. Moving up, we've got our Mesa Boogie TC100 head. And I just did a video about this recently. I love this. It's got EL34 tubes in it. And multi-silk attenuator. And then on the top, we have a little clip light. I can never remember the name, the Mighty Bright. These are awesome. You just click them, got your LEDs in there, and that way you can see what you're doing. So I've got a few of these things. Put a little piece of foam under it right there, moving up. We've got our Mesa Boogie Mark V head, and this is used, I bought it used. And I got this from a guy, out in California named Eduardo, who has more insane amps than anybody. Um, so, dude, you're awesome. You've helped me out with information. Thank you so much if you happen to see this. I really appreciate you helping me out. Um, you can't know everything out there, that's for sure. That guy knows a lot about amps. I bought this on Reverb. I think I paid 13 something and which is a steal but anyways it's a great head i got a good deal on it you can get good deals on stuff you just gotta look um i have some of my patch cables i keep here my little light up gnome with my little big foot and i have various lights throughout this studio when i play at night so this whole place is lit up in red and different colors it's really awesome um on my top shelf here, I haven't put a head up there yet. I just have a little wooden thing where I keep some picks and some other things. These are these fret wedge things um, by Groove Gear. I didn't care for them, they didn't fit under there. I have these little straps. You can buy these on eBay also. These are called Red Whips. These are awesome for musical gear. I don't know what it is, 10 bucks for 10 of these things. So if you feel like that's helpful to you, check them out. Also in my hand here is a little torchy light. And this is awesome for lighting up your LED lights on your guitar. Um, back to the top shelf. I don't know, one of my buddies from Mexico made this. This is made out of stainless steel welding wire. Scorpion, it's pretty awesome. He'd make some real tiny ones too. And then I have a couple pedals that I've been farting around with up here right now. This is Dead 
FX out of Texas and Dead FX. I would recommend checking some of this guy's stuff out. Dead FX. Why is this cool? Well, you got a silent click. Um, it's a small business and I think it's a pretty sweet pedal. So we've got the Octoland, which is a 300 and some dollar pedal or something like that which is a great pedal, it's unique, it's different, but you can get some of the same type of sounds out of here. And this is half of the price. Um, click, no click. I don't know about you guys, I'm really tired of spending a lot of money on pedals and having, but some of you guys like it. Maybe if you're playing a show or you gotta hear that, I don't know. So, and new Walrus. Overdrive pedal, it, it, there's, I like that. It's too digital for me, so I'll pass. Got a Pog pedal, Nano, love it. Just a killer pedal. Um, some cables, you know, you want good stuff, you know, your connections. Get big thick cables, 14 gauge. Um, this is Divine Noise out of Oregon for an instrument. If you haven't heard of them, Divine Noise, they're just awesome. And this area of the room, we've got some digital stuff. Um, we've got our Helix rack right here and another Furman. It's a M X. No, an M A D X. I like these. Now, Real quick on these, I bought this new from Sweetwater. The other one on the desk I bought from Alto Music in New York or something. They said it was mint used. Well, it was a B or something because the lights don't pull out very good. So sometimes when you don't buy new, you know, if you get something goofy or whatever. But then below, we've got Line 6 Pod and... I got a killer deal on this. Um, I think I got this for 900, this rack. And I'm probably gonna be selling this here soon. I don't really use it too much. Great unit. Uh, boy, I don't use it because I get lost in it. Um, you know, I'm not into like the Kemper or the Axe FX. I'm not saying we're not ever gonna have one, but I just need simplicity and I need to be able to write. Um, because uh, that's just what I like to do. But it's awesome. I really like it. Um, so they did a great job on that. And then below that, we have two Mesa Boogie 2x12 cabs. And I bought one of these on Reverb delivered for 400 bucks. So that's like 50% off. So sometimes people will sell them and include the shipping. And then the other one that I got below, I bought that on Craigslist for the same price and I met the guy. Now, those I kind of feel like I got a killer deal. I feel like I could sell them for 550 all day long because then they're 800 in the store. So behind I've got more sound panels and stuff like that, which are just helpful. And then I have my floor pedal down here um, which things are kind of just thrown on there now because I just wired some different stuff up and, um, you know, put a light in and, but basically on my board is a few different overdrives, um, origin effects compressor and noise gate. And we're going to go to right over here in this area. Okay, guys. So in this area of the room, we've got a Mesa Boogie 412 cab. And I got this on Craigslist. 450 bucks. If you guys don't have a 412 cab, that's one of the places to get them. I'm telling you. I don't know why people dump them. 412s are where it's at. And I have uh, two V30s and... A couple other eminent speakers in here. I forget which name. There's been a lot going on here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring that back to have four V30s in it and get a Neapolitan cab. 
uh, you know, where I switch the speakers out and stuff. On top, we've got a camera lens and we've got a Boss Equalizer. This is going out to Alchemy um, Audio in Chicago. Some of my other stuff is modded on my board there. Um, and then, oh, this just came in from BK Butler. This is the real tube overdrive, and it's got a 12AX7 tube in it. And uh, I, I just played with it a minute with another overdrive. Whoo, if you want some thickness and some doom, um, yeah. So we'll, maybe we'll do a little video on this in the future, but it's just up there for right now. And oh, one of the speaker cables are up here, jumpers. All my, all my cables and my connections are just top notch. I just love that because when I plug in, it's silence. Um, we're gonna talk about that in another video. Behind is a huge, um, it's, a, it's a six foot tall sound panel. It's six inches in width and it's heavy. They're like mini mattresses. Um, that's with burlap on there. Um, I got a bunch of those I just built for the other side and those are real um, beneficial. Okay, so moving on in this corner, boy, boy, oh boy. Talk about awesome. And I'm gonna start with this cabinet. Dave Friedman, if you ever see this, I love watching you and listening to your stuff. Your equipment is awesome. And I can't wait to get a Friedman amp in this studio and it's gonna happen. Um, this is the cabinet with the 212s and the 215s in it. Now the 212s have the, they're the Celestion uh, G12 or H30s or something like that, but they operate at 55 Hertz. And then you've got the um, 200 watt heads or 200 watt um, speakers that are the fullbacks and those are the 15 inch ones. This cabinet for baritone is the bee's knees. This thing is just killer. Um, unbelievable how good it sounds with the baritone guitar. Pair it with this head, it, I mean, get out. And we got this from Mike Fortin recently. And this was from the 2019 NAM. So there's a bunch of white ones out there. We got a black one. And this cabinet I bought used actually. And you guys buy from Sweetwater? Everybody does. They're just awesome. I think it was listed for a thousand bucks and they might be $15.99. And you know, customer return. So I got it, plugged it in, didn't work. I'm like. I opened the back up, it was a wire disconnected. So I saved like 600 bucks. So I try to buy used on almost everything. Um, there's more used gear than there is new gear in here for sure. Um, and then behind me, we've got a mixing board. We've got bunches of strings like, here's bags of just 70 gauge strings. Um, because on a 28 scale baritone, I'll go 70, 56, 42 or 44, um, 28 to 26, 17, down to 14, 11, something like that. Um, and boy, I got just so many different kinds. I got callium strings back there that are stainless steel. I like these, Calium. If you guys aren't buying your strings from there, go to Calium, K-A-L-I-U-M. Um, Skip is, is just has awesome strings. Mixing board, guitar case. Okay guys, so this is gonna be our addition, our new space, and this is just a preview. And so bear with us on the audio and the miking. We're not dragging all of our other stuff in here. Uh, so this room is a 16 by 22. So now we're going to have quite a bit of space. So we have 15 by 15 and a 16 by 22. And you're going to see right over here, I have some seven foot tall frames by six inches. 
and I'm not sure what we're going to do with these. These are going to be our big sound panels because we're going to build a wall here. And we're going to go right down this area right over here. So I got this shelving stuff on eBay. And I don't know, 50 or 60 bucks. It's on wheels. And so I've also gotten rid of a lot of pedals. And on the bottom, we've got a Rivera uh, attenuator uh with eq and all that stuff and some hip shot boxes and some pickups and then we've got some pedals up here and cali 76 pedal uh compressor number two and uh, some was some volume pedals some bass was uh mason boogie grid slammer that's a pretty cool pedal this is an old 92 or 95 something like that boss Pitch shifter, uh, car bomb, Greg Kubaki uh, uses these things. And up here, oh, some dark glass stuff, some earthquake devices, um, Mesa Boogie, these RLX foam pads that I was telling you guys about for your speakers. They're great. I think a hard stand works a little bit better on top. I've got some mic stand mics and lights and cases and right over here we've got um, some eminent speakers man of war governor swamp thing uh, right next to it we've got some burlap for sound panels i'm not going to do burlap again uh i did not like working with it so if you're making sound panels i like the stretchy fabric uh, burlap's kind of messy it's uh you know, if you've never made panels before, I would get some type of a fabric with stretching it. I'm just saying, I've made quite a bit of them actually. Um, so I'm able to, you know, they came out pretty good. And then back here, I got some artwork. And there, I forget where this is, what album work this guy has done, but this came from France. And um, so that's really awesome. And then we've got, a little bit of Cali Boss from Clash of the Titans and two dry eraser boards for when we do our uh, ideas for what's going on in here in videos. And we've got another piece of artwork, the hyena. And then back here, we've got a huge pedal board case. And uh, these are Brady cases. So this is just killer. Love that. And back here, this is the uh, insulation stuff that we're using in our sound panels. You can get a pack of this stuff at Home Depot for 25 bucks. And we've got a couch here that's gonna go in here. Some of my panels that I made, you can see how big they are. And I mean, this thing is thick, you know? So, those are going to be in here. We've got a sweet Brady case for a head, you know, going to a gig or something. Got these sound panels here where the windows were. And right here, we've got some studio sound blankets that from Vocal Booth that we had to wait forever to get these things. And these things are heavy as all get out. I don't know how many, I got a bunch of them. Um, a killer office chair. <laughs> My uncle got this for me. And some more sound panels. Let me just say a few things. Thank you guys for checking this out. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, you know, I'm kind of a private person. I've never had a Facebook or anything like that. Um, I hope you understood that this was just something to geek out on, nerd out on. I wouldn't want anybody to be like, oh, look at all my stuff. I know there's a ton of studio videos out there. And I, if anything, I hope that you guys were able to learn like, oh my gosh, I can get that gear on Craigslist or that type of stuff, stuff that's going to be helpful. And we'll do another video in the future with this room. It's going to be awesome. I've got some new subs. You guys, thank you. And lastly, if you wouldn't mind in the comment section, 
maybe put where you're from. If you're from Chile or if you're from Russia or any of those really cool places, I would really like to know. Um, so thanks, guys. Have a good one. Thank you for turning up. <laughs>